I bet you guys are all wondering how we found this spot. And that is because of the Onyx 17 layer taco dip feature. Dude, so this is how it normally looks. Pretty, you're like, oh, it's just a field. Why would we hunt that? There's no water around. And then you just go over here to recent imagery. Oh, what's that? Why is that water now, shooty? That sucks. Well, a lot of you might actually be wondering why John and myself are hunting in the morning and not in the evening for once. Well, we finally decided that we should stop being lazy and wake up in the morning and go duck hunt when it's probably the best time to duck hunt. So this is the first morning since opener that we actually woke up and came out here to duck hunt. We are at a spot that John found and we looked at last evening and there was a bunch of ducks back there, but the water is very shallow and there's a lot of mud around the shore. So hopefully the one spot we have picked out isn't like that and we can actually get the kayaks shimmied up into the cattails. But if not, John does have permission here. So we will just have to walk up into the cattails and uh, kind of suffer a little bit and walk through all that mud. So it's not gonna be ideal. Hopefully we can hunt out of the kayaks but we're gonna see what happens. We are going to go load up the kayaks, head out and uh, start our half mile paddle out there. Still not as brutal as when we went through the drainage ditch though. That, that, was, uh, that was a workout. Shooty, shooty. Oh, I hate using that line distance mode. John's just like a robot. Anytime you want him to say something, he's just like, I know you guys was wondering about this feature. So if you click on this and click on that, I'm only going to shoot one duck today. I'm BW Films. Bow fishing. Also, John's using my second pair of waders, so if he doesn't shut up, I'm going to throw those in the lake. <laughs> hey! Shall we evening hunt? I told you guys in the last video that when I, whenever I break this old school camo moss yoke hoodie out, that's this is like the OG grinder hoodie for me. Every time this comes out, we're greasing them. We are absolutely greasing them. Dude, I kind of hope we don't grease them because then you could put a clip right after you said that of us just getting skunked. No, every <laughs> time I wear this, no, I know, we but grease but I'm saying it'd be funny. If it's we not didn't. possible though. It, it would be funny. No, it's though. literally not possible. Well, if we do Look get if we do get skunked somehow, you gotta put it like right now. No, it's literally in the hunting. Regulations though. <laughs> of course me and John just get out of the truck and it's like misting So John jumps back in and he's like should we just evening hunt? But good thing I brought the old air weight jacket if you guys have not seen the air weight jacket I wear this pretty much all season this or my tan one the air weight jacket can be used as a mid layer or as an outer layer Just like I am using it today. This is a super comfortable and lightweight jacket So if you guys want to check out the dive bomb industries air weight jacket like I am using in today's video Make sure you guys head down in the description of this video and click on that Dive Bomb Industries link. Well, John and I have went through... How many boxes of shells have you went through, John? I've went through about three and a half since I've been here. I'm like two and a half. Yep. Our shooting has been good. Dude, like the thing is... When you drive by two guys unloading kayaks on a water hole, what's your first thought usually? We must be in Minnesota. That's my first thought. Or, hey, it's another greasy Mindak and BW collab. This is also facts. Oh. Time to S get it. S get it! Get us, get us, get us, get us, get us! Dude, I can't see anything in this fog. It's kind of lit. All right, well, now we begin our four mile trek. <laughs> the heck? All right, well, me and John decided that we're gonna split up. We're not sure if further on the north side's gonna be better or on this little point here. So I'm gonna try the point. John's going to the north side. So if you guys want to check out John's video of what he's doing over there I'm gonna link his channel down below and you guys can uh, see his point of view of this hunt We each only have six decoys with us Which it's really all you need honestly right now, but we'll see how it goes Hey, what the coot doing? Bye. Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, wow. bah. All right. Well, I just did a spot switch 
The wind completely changed from what it was when we got here. It's coming straight out of the west pretty much. So I came up into the northwest corner and I got a new spread out and it's way shallower here. Well, I did not see that teal coming. First duck down, we will take that. I liked that a lot better. I finally ran out of my old crappy shells that I was shooting, and let's just say that that worked a lot better. Oh my god, there's more pool. Oop, that's good for my gun. Blue wing teal to start off the morning. We'll take it. I got two things to say. One, that thing came out of nowhere. And two, boy am I glad to have some decent shells finally. But that is like the third duck that has just snuck up out of the nowhere on the right side. Ooh, a green winger. First green winger. Now we got one green wing teal and one blue wing teal. Hey, this guy said, what's up, YouTube? Tell him what's up. Day's lucky. Day's lucky. What is these two? Hey, those was redheads. Those was redheads. What these teal doing? Those are lucky. They lucky I don't want a spoonie today. Because I could have easily busted them up. Hey, what the geese doing? That was some BW shit right there. Oh, come back, you sons of guns. This one on the right doing though. Should we find out? Shoot! Don't come back. All right, a little two pack of blue wingers. Okay, that puts us at four ducks. That is not bad. Another blue winger. All right, four teal, three blue wingers, and one green wing. Dang it. Ripper came right over my back and then landed in the far corner. Not ideal. Shoot! 
is he down? All right, I just switched GoPro batteries out. I have a four pack of teal rip in out of absolutely nowhere. So I just let them hang out for a second. I then figured I'd take one because it's been slow for the last half an hour. This is definitely a teal shoot today. But that's okay because teal tastes pretty good. All right, loaded back up. Three ducks left for my limit. We got two circling on the left. Classic, not come in, classic. The teal have been coming in, but nothing else really. Well, I guess a spoonie came in, if that counts. See, I'm better at bar shots. Had a little malfunction for a second, but we got it done on the we got it done on the second shot. That thing was absolutely ripping in on the first shot. And I'm like, Lord have mercy, it's a fire. I said, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> Also, a battery fell out of my pants pocket and it's now in my waiter boot, so that's pretty lit. Green winger? Oh yeah. Second green winger of the day. That was a 190 mile an hour I don't even know what. Something. Wait, what? Okay, that is another blue wing teal. That puts us at seven ducks. We need one more duck and it can be of any kind. I could shoot any kind of teal. I could shoot any kind of big duck. I could shoot a diver, a mallard, a gaddy, a widgeon. I'm open to shoot anything right now. So we got a pretty good bag of teal. And uh, this last duck, whether it's a spoonie or whatever comes by next, we're going to take her. Hey, what the duck's doing in my spread? Two teal just snuck in on me. There's also a mallard, a hen mallard that came in on the outside of the spread. And the two teal are just chilling right here. But since I didn't get them on video coming in, I'm not really trying to shoot at another bird off of the water that already landed. So we'll just let them live for a minute. It is kind of tempting to get my last duck out of these though. But we shall just scare them out so the other birds don't land by them. Shoot! I wish I was ready when that mallard came in. That would have been nice to get one mallard. Hey, I said, last duck, even if it's a spoonie, I'm cutting him. And you could consider him cut. That is a limit, baby. Let's retrieve our last duck of the limit. Old Spoonie. What even is a water hunt without a spoon bill, you know? Like, are you really hunting water if you don't shoot a Spoonie? And just like that, he's out. Hey, what up, shooty? How many did you shoot? One? I shot, that's my second shot of the day. <laughs> bro, how are you gonna flex my teal like you shot it, bro? Dude, my teal that I shot was so cool. Dang, dude. Ooh. Is that for the gram? Because if you flex for the gram, it's fine. It's for the gram. All right, that's fine. So, I didn't, I didn't even look at this. I just thought it was another blue wing teal, but John's hyped. So like, early in the season, 
teal will have that white ring. Blue wingers will have that white ring right by their bill. And they get them down down south too, but like every time in Sodak, like they never have them up here. So this is kind of cool to see. I've never seen one this defined. Like if I mount a blue winger, when I do like the trifecta teal mount, I want one with the white patch like this. Looks super cool. Kind of beat up, BW. I don't know what BW is doing with it, but oh, BW, greased BW did grease it. You probably sluiced it too on the water, no, I didn't. but hey, that's a dope looking teal. All right. Well, John and I just got back to the old drop time lodge. It's about 11 o'clock and I think we're going to nap the rest of the day to be completely honest, but not a bad day for me. I ended up with five teal and one spoonie and it's not a water grind unless you shoot a spoon bill, like I said before. So remember that guys. I heard this was like your best hunt ever, right? <sighs> Let's just say I didn't wear enough Sitka. With that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, click that like button and subscribe to the channel down below this video. And we will see y'all on the next one. See ya! Peace.